Well, hello everyone and welcome to the second installment of my candle stash haul. I haven't done an entire candle haul in about five months. I figured it was time. I'd say like 80% of all of my candles I found at the thrift stores. So if you're looking for candles, I have learned a bit about these candles. I have a few here. This is a Lucite candle. These candles look like they have actual gold flakes in them. I'm sure it's just a very thin gold foiled paper that's suspended throughout the candle. When I think of a mid-century modern house, I think of these. Until I found my first pair and actually held them, I realized that you can't actually light these candles. I thought they were candles that were supposed to be burned. They're not. They're just decorative lucite candles. The others I have are not pairs. They're just singles. I have this one. This is an orange one, as you can see. Same idea with this. It just happens to be orange. This is a shorter candle. This candle has copper flakes. There's a sticker. I didn't notice that before. Oh, it says here, decorative only, do not ignite. Gregorian copper, San Clemente, California. And then my last and tallest lucite candle, instead of foil, this, this candle has chunks of glitter, suspended squares of glitter. I'm noticing that this does not have a wick. It seems that no matter the color of the candle, all of the wicks are the same, so I think I could probably just, if I wanted the exact same wick, just go to the craft store and find something. I found all of these candles at Savers and Goodwill on the Wall of Treasures. They were priced like the normal wax candles, so they were very inexpensive. These will be nice just to put in a candlestick holder that I'm not using but want to keep out. So. As far as candle storage goes, I have quite a few candles right now. I have one drawer that has scented pillars and then a, a couple of candle holders, like the bigger ones. Then I also have two of these boxes full of candles. This one has the larger candles and then I have a box like this that has candlesticks in it. Let's delve into this box. This is a rectangular pillar, it's still wrapped, handmade in the kingdom of Swaziland. It's just a very nice heavy pattern pillar. When I'm done with this one, I'll replace it with this one. What I also learned about candles and pillars is that there are quite a few shapes. When I'm saying pillared, I mean not the thinner tapered candles, so just a hunk of wax. You would normally have a round candle like that. That's what I think of when I think of a pillar. I found a set of these. They actually had quite a few more of these, but I just got two of them. I don't know why this one has such a long wick. Just as I mentioned in my last candle video, for those of you who are making your own candles right now, or thinking of it, there are molds on Etsy that you can buy that are in this shape. It's easy to find the silicone molds of shapes that are really popular right now, and this is one of the more popular shapes. I've got a pair of these. I also like to have a variety of colors of candles. I'm always happy when I find a nice pastel colored candle, and this is a peach rectangular pillar. This came in a set of six. These are clear gel candles. You know, squishy and wiggly. This looks like a votive, but this interesting gel. I don't know where these came from. This could have very well come from Amazon, but I've never seen a gel candle like this before. I would love to find more of these wiggly, squiggly, clear gel candles. In one specific candle holder I have, it's a brass base with a just a clear glass globe, and this looks really cool with it because it just looks like a floating flame. I'm hoping to find or get more of those. These are other thin pillars that I found at thrift stores. For fall, I think this is a really pretty color. I like the width of these candles. And that I found a set. This just looks like a nice cone. It resembles the shape of something else. But then this looks nice with these because of the color and also the shape. So interesting. And this is obviously a very hefty candle. I got it at Goodwill and it's still got a price tag on the bottom of it. This is another nice pillar, but the color is beautiful. It's like a nice spring yellow. Well, this looks a little bit of an askew candle. The shape is a little bit off on this one. I don't know if you can tell it. It's leaning a bit. At Estate Tales, I have found a lot of candles in garages. So a lot of candles, I think, melt. I mean, that's just what happens. It's wax, right? And you can see those next to one another. These very much remind me of candles that you would buy on Etsy. A nice deep red pink color. I love the shape of these. So interesting. These would be nice at Christmas. It's always nice when you find a set of the same candle. That doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it does. This is an interesting shape. 
of candle. I'm realizing now that I'm showing you how much it looks like an anatomical part. Um, in person, I feel like it doesn't look as much like that. This kind of reminds me of a vintage Christmas bubble light in shape. This I purchased because I really like the color. It's this hot pink color. It was actually taller. So what I've been doing is hacking off a slice and using it as just a little pillar and then carve out a bit of the area where the wick is so obviously the wick can burn. Just because this pillar is way too big to use, to me this pillar is way too big to use at once. This has a, a hint of a scent of rose. I really bought this because I liked the color a lot. And then we have this candle. This would also be a nice fall candle, maybe alongside this. It's thicker than normal tapered candles. It's nice that it has this on the bottom so that it will fit into a standard candle holder, standard sized candle holder. Many times the candles at thrift stores are brand new. As you can see, many of these are unused. And this is actually still in its box. So this is a party light candle. I see this brand party light quite often at thrift stores. Inside we have this giant, it looks almost like a gem or a geode in its shape, it's so pretty. The color is wonderful as well. I mean, these were probably a couple of dollars each. It says here, it's called a Discover Pillar Candle. And then the last of my lot here are these. Okay, these candles are very different. Inside we have these beautiful, actually four of them everything out. This is an etched glass candle. This is entirely made of glass, as you can hear. On the bottom it has a rubber stopper so that it firmly stays in a candlestick holder. On the bottom of the box it says two crystal oil lamps, but it came with four of them. I got a bonus. Each one also comes with this wick. This is the same thing that you would use in a traditional oil lamp. The oil is absorbed and then you light it and then you can move it up as the wick burns a bit. Ooh, there we go. I need to learn a bit more about this before I execute this whole thing. But I think what you would do is a very long time ago, I think probably with one of my oil lanterns, I talked about not knowing what kind of oil to use inside because I would like to use these inside, but you know, it also freaks me out a little bit. Something spilling or that is why I haven't used these inside yet. Also, I need to figure out what kind of oil to use and all of that. I think this would look like a floating flame as well because these are clear. It also came with this plastic funnel so that I can fill each one with oil. There we go. That's all for today's haul. I will do another candle haul. I'm also going to do a haul about candle holders. Much more to come on the topic of candles. I hope you enjoyed. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.